Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ibrahim Casey and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, what, what is this all about? Why we are doing this meeting every Saturday? We did a meeting last week and we decided to build this uh, what you call this project uh, AFC, it's Arab Filipino community. It's all about uh, those Arab who wants to marry Filipina or those Arabs who are married to Filipina and the same thing that all Fili those Filipina who wanted to marry an Arab, what is the culture or things they must know or about religion and it has also a topic about Islam so so I'm just going to translate fast in Tagalog. So welcome po dito sa video na ito. Uh, patungkol to sa mga Arabo na kapag-asawa na Filipina, kung ano po may share nila. At uh, kaya namin ginawa ito kasi nga marami mga Pilipinang gusto mag-asawa ng Arabo o Arabo ng gusto mag-asawa ng Filipina. Dito sa video na ganito ay maibabahagi namin kung ano yung dapat malaman ng both na Arabo at Pilipina na mga dapat nyo nang malaman bago sila pumasok sa ganitong relasyon para maiwasan dito ang mga... Uh, divorce o hiwalayan pagkatapos or hindi pagkakaunawa patungkol sa both culture kultura ng Arab or kultura ng Filipino tapos isa pa yung mga mabawasan yung mga kagaya ko na isang anak ng isang Pilipina at Arabo na nagkahiwalay at yun lumaki ang mga bata na nawala, na, nawala sa tamang landas o tamang pagpapalaki so ito ang purpose ng video po na yun at uh, inshallah marami po kayo matutunan dito Can you share something Mr. Mahmoud about our uh, project for this uh, AFC? Uh, yes, uh, Jazakallah Khairan, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim uh, So uh, the idea of the group uh, came uh, to us uh, according to uh, some challenges uh, that we experienced through our marriage life uh, as an uh, Arab Filipino families we uh, can see other families have challenges uh, some kind of uh, divorce cases uh, children who are scattered in different different countries nobody knows where he's going so we aim mainly to try our uh, best to give guidance to the Arab Filipino families to keep the stability of the family and to build a good future for the children okay so you can share your name from where you are <laughs> so uh, it's me, Mahmoud Rashwan. I am an Egyptian. Uh, I am staying in Qatar with my uh, Filipino family. I have uh, four children from my uh, wife, who is uh, originally from uh, Navutas, Manila. Mm. And uh, my four children, uh, they are speaking both English and Arabic. They are uh, the, the, the biggest one uh, now, it's in grade two, going to grade three. Uh, plus, uh, I am uh, caring of my, uh, my wife's son, uh, who is uh, Filipino, 100% from a Filipino father. Mm -hmm. So, alhamdulillah, we have uh, a life and have good understanding and respect. Me and my wife, we have a good understanding and respect for eight years. MashaAllah. So, we start from from next Dr. Nidal. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Uh, uh, Little I bit about Nidal you. I am Nidal uh, I am from Jordan. I do live right now in uh, Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh. Uh, I was in Philippines. I finished my PhD from uh, UST, University of Santo Tomas. 20 years ago, more or less, I got married with uh, to be a beautiful wife. Uh, more than 20 years already, and alhamdulillah, we have a good uh, good life, alhamdulillah, we are really happy with each other. Then I do have right now, alhamdulillah, uh, two girls and two boys. Mashallah. Uh, with Sheikh Khalid now, are you the owner of uh, iPhone? Allah <laughs> my name is Khalid. <laughs> Actually, uh, I, I think I've set up the name a long time ago, and yeah. uh, I forgot to change. Uh, my name is Khalid is uh, I'm from originally from uh, Jordan, uh, Palestinian Jordanian, born in Saudi Arabia, by the way. I studied in the Philippines uh, and Mapua Institute of Technology back in 1987 to 1992. Graduated with a, a Bachelor of uh, Science in Mechanical Engineering. Married to a Filipina. She's from Alaay, Patangas Ay. <laughs> Uh, at, uh, I speak Filipino at home uh, since our uh, our family's uh, language, and I uh, with my children I speak Arabic. I have uh, three children. The eldest is now uh, 30 years old, uh, and I have a grandson uh, from him. Uh, and also my second son is 29 years old, and also he has 
a daughter now, only one week old now, so I have a granddaughter now. Uh, we have been living uh, with my family for 31 years now, happily married, and uh, we got married back in the Philippines, uh, 19, uh, early 1991, alhamdulillah, rabbil so more than 30 years now and uh, we got through many experiences but uh, alhamdulillah with the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we were able to pass uh, all the challenges and uh, we are uh, the understanding of uh, the family uh, is deep rooted in our uh, conscious alhamdulillah mashallah jazakallah khair for all of your sharing uh, okay let me share also too a little bit about me so i'm ibrahim casey half uh, palestinian filipino my father is palestinian my mother is filipina uh, her origin is from mindanao my grandmother is from sambuanga they speak uh, chabacano it's like a part of uh, Spanish also, the same. Chabacano is similar to Spanish also. But she grew up in Manila. She was born there and they bought a lot from Luzon, uh, North, Pangasinan. So I was born there and living there. So I was married before to a Filipina half Italian, but you know, after eight years, doesn't work. She's like a Ferrari with no engine. So it costs you a lot. But so we have three kids from her, and now I'm married with uh, a new, she's uh, pure Maguindanon from Mindanao, and soon we are having one kid. So I'm going to have four, inshallah. At uh, inshallah, marami po kayo matutunan dito. Everyone, we will, we will ask them all. Each one of us will answer the question about that. That one question that I received while ago. Uh, there's a Filipina said, uh, don't marry an Arab. They are not serious. They will also leave you. So what can you say about this, Mr. Mahmoud? <laughs> uh, I was told before, I, I just uh, eight years marriage. I would like to ask uh, uh, other, uh, other brothers in the meeting to talk first. Okay. So let me be the last one. Okay. Who, who will you start for? Comparing to Dr. Nidal, I think, or Khalid, because he he's already been 20 years or who? Okay, Khalid, I think. Okay. Uh, um, uh, that question is really a little bit tricky. Do you want us to answer it in Filipino or in uh, <coughs> uh, Taglish? English? Taglish, okay, no problem. Uh, actually, uh, uh, life is a challenge itself. Mm. And uh, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the man and the woman, it was a challenge, a challenge uh, to Satan himself, a challenge to the nature of uh, Adam. And uh, we have to go through the challenges step by step and wise, uh, stereotyping that the Arabs are all uh, uh, not serious is not a good idea, actually. Mm. And it's not a true one. Uh, I have many friends uh, who are married and happily married to uh, Filipina or uh, to different foreigners for uh, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. So it is how how, how you, you you cherish and how you you think how sacred is the the, 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 the family life. Uh, when you say Arabs, the problem uh, Arabo, you know Arabo, John. Uh, usually when we were in the Philippines, Arabo means from Arabia. Arabia is uh, obviously Saudi Arabia. But uh, not, with all due respect, the Arabs of Saudi Arabia are uh, Arabs. In the northern Saudi Arabia, they are closer to the culture of the Jordanians. In the southern Saudi Arabia, they are closer to the Yemeni, uh, Jizani culture. In the, in the eastern side, they are more uh, like the Easterners uh, uh, from uh, Kuwait and from Qatar and from Bahrain and from even Iran. And from Western Saudi Arabia, they are more inclined to have, uh, because of mixing with Egyptians and Ethiopians and with the uh, Takroris and with, uh, you know, with the Sudanese. So th you, you could not say there's a certain culture of Arab no, there's, it's the person himself, how much he cherished. Actually, I, I, I heard about the story of, uh, for example, Sheikh al Maigli. He, he married a Pakistani lady, and his family uh, uh, challenged him that, okay, you have to finish this up. And uh, uh, I don't know if how true is the story, but he insisted that he wants to continue. 
it is how the man manages this challenges and how the woman just accept it accepts uh, uh, those challenges and slowly make it easy on her husband uh, to go smoothly from one step to another from the time of the wedding to the next step the first born child the second born child the next step going to school going to universities and now alhamdulillah uh, i have grandchildren already step by step many challenges from the close circuit of the family you have to take it step by step just like when you are uh, un- untying uh, a rope uh, which is uh, tightly tied up and tightly hooked up to different different parts you have to go slowly and you have to think positively how you will untie or you will uh, uh, dismantle this uh, knots uh, to a, uh, an acceptable uh, level uh, that uh, all the family around you and the children uh, will go through smoothly yes sir hello thank you for sharing uh, next dr nidal uh well this question is really i mean, you have to take it from different uh, parts number one uh, you know one of the main uh, main target of this group that we will explain in a very clear way to the Filipinos and not non-Filipinos, those who are going to marry from Philippines and for Filipinos who are not going to marry uh, Arab people, or, that they have to really know what's really uh, going to happen later on. I mean, you have not to be in hurry, you have to study the, the, your situation. You can really go to other countries sometimes, because for sure when you marry an Arab or a foreign accent, usually you have to travel to other countries, you have to, you know, adapt their culture, you have to you have to adjust yourself. That's why uh, it's happening in, in any country in the world, or any nation, nationalities usually when they marry from other places. They have to adjust and they have to be sure what's really going on. It's not really, you know, something just to stay with the man one month or one week, but a luxury or something, you know, just for, for a certain time. It's really, especially when it comes to marriage, you know, are going to build a family, are going to have children, and you are going to, uh, they are going to suffer a lot if ever you will not uh, be aware of what's going on. So this is something very important whenever uh, for the going to marry with some other nationalities. Regarding Arabs, you know, in general, there are some Arabs maybe, and even in Philippines, you know, there are some Filipinos who are married, mm-hmm. marrying with each other, and later on they will defend of course each other, or they will be killing each other. So it's really happening in, anywhere in the world. Uh, so sometimes happening that uh, there are some cases that Arabs will leave these Filipinos, and in the opposite side, sometimes it's happening also. But in general, by, like what engineer Hal has mentioned, I know a lot of uh, successful marriage life in Egypt, in Sudan, in Palestine, in Jordan, in other countries. So you have to be sure of how you'll handle uh, your marriage life. And you have to really adjust with, with the situation where you will be in. And you have to study it carefully before going to this kind of engagement. Because it's not a game. It's a life. Well, uh, this is nice quote. It's not a game. This is a real life. <laughs> nice. Uh, to Sir Mahmoud. Okay. Uh, so uh, according to my uh, uh, small experience uh, for the last eight years, uh, I think the problem uh, of the failing cases uh, is about a uh, cultural problem, cultural problem. There is no cultural understanding between husband and wife. So husband and wife, when they get, when they get married, they uh, just uh, think of marriage as it is. Uh, they didn't think about uh, families or uh, culture. So the Filipina, maybe she, she didn't come to study the culture of the man, mm. and the man didn't come to study the culture of the Filipina. So when you come to ask someone who would like to marry a Filipina, and, and you ask him, uh, what what do you know about Philippines? He has nothing to tell. Uh, what do you know about the food? Nothing. What What do you know about the language? Nothing. Are you ready to go to Philippines? He said no. So, I, I, are you are you uh, are you willing to go and see the family of the woman, uh, especially if he's if he's uh, if he's planning to marry the woman abroad? Then he said no. So, so it's from the beginning the woman can understand that this, this man is just playing. Mm. 
but when 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 we have cases such as such as me or Dr. Nidal or 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 Bashmandis Khalid, so we understand that there is many 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 cases which is successful. So we have we say it in Arabic language, not all the fingers are the same, not all the fingers. Are the hand are the same. Have some short fingers and have some cold fingers. We experience many uh, kinds of successful stories of marriage between Arab and Filipino, and we also experience some kind of problems happens. But for me, I can understand it happened because of cultural misunderstanding. That is, we are trying to manage this one for the benefit of the husband wife and for the children to have uh, a stability for the family and a good future for the children. Inshallah, thank you for sharing. So thank you for all your share. I hope they learned something. And uh, I hope they will follow our second videos. Inshallah, every Saturday we are going to do videos. Another, just uh, we will post, uh, I will post something on my Facebook page or in the Facebook page of the AFC. And you can put your question there if you are Arab or Filipina and we will answer it every Saturday, Inshallah. Uh, by doing uh, again videos and getting opinions from our Arabs who got experience of uh, relationship between Filipina. Maasalam, thank you.